Hello and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a speed effect or a speed trail effect. I've got this train here coming into station and it's going real fast. And here's the original shot and then here's the speed shot. How did I do it? Let me show you. It's very simple to do. First step, load your footage in. Now drag and drop it and create a duplicate copy. The next step is you want to select the item that you want to show the speed effect on or the blur in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the pen tool although sometimes the other object selection tools will do just as fine. I'm just going to draw a very simple mask around this train so you can see what I'm doing. It's not going to be perfect. I just want to show you the technique. Okay, close it up like I've done here. Now I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to make a selection. And in this case, I'm going to go with regular stuff. Feather it two pixels doesn't really matter. So you'll see the marching ants or the lines around it. Now here's where we get into the good stuff. We go up to filter, we go to blur, and we want radial blur. This is the one we're looking for. Set the amount to 60. You can set this to more, but 60 seems to work. And keep in mind, we can reduce this uh, through a technique I'll show you at the end. Set the amount to 60 or so. Uh, set the blur method from spin which has this weird little concentric circle look to zoom. And under zoom, do note that you can set the direction of the zoom. So I've got the crosshair over here on the left side, so it's going to basically shoot off to the right, as you can see from the arrows. But you can do it this way, and it shoots off to the left. But I'm going to have it shooting off to the right. But keep in mind, you can move that crosshair. Set it to best, click on OK. It takes a few seconds here, and it's going to apply the speed effect. Presto, there we go. That's all there is to it. Keep in mind, lastly, if this is too much of a speed effect, you can always just click on the top layer, drop the opacity down, and then you'll see that you can, you know, dial it down and make it as you see fit. That's it. Thanks for watching.